code on this computer. Okay, so based on the, and maybe what I can do is I can share the screen so we can all be looking at it together. Who has some thoughts? Let's see. Do you guys, are you guys seeing the, the slides? Am I sharing the slides? Yeah, thank you, Natalia. So um, who has some ideas? How are the, how are the, um, how are the schemas similar or different between all three experiments? Yeah, Elliot. Well, I think that the um, uh, main difference that I can see is that everything in phase two interacts with um, each other. And for phase one, there's like stuff like the rings and the table that don't do. Yeah, that's actually that's that's actually not a bad. So that's true, right? Here, for example, you notice that um, the Earth field is interacting with everything. The table is interacting with the car and with the air, right? The air is interacting with everything. Um, now, notice on on the left that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, is that because there's a mistake, or is that like what do we what do we think? Do we need to do we need do we take the schema at face value or do we need to change it? What do we think? Hold on, I'm not sure why my thing changed all of a sudden. So first of all, do we all agree with the schema on the right? Yeah, Vince is like, yes, Natalia's yes, Ollie's yes, Molly's yes. So what do we think about the one on the left though? Yeah, Vince. Um, it doesn't have air, but it still has drag. In it doesn't first. have air, but it still has drag. So should air be in that? Should air be on that on that schema? Uh, yeah. So air should be on that schema. One other thing that Elliot pointed out to was that the ramp and the table were not interacting with one another. Should the ramp and the table be interacting with one another? Natalia, what do you think? Um, I think so because it's like touching the table. Yeah, the, the ramp is on the table. So the ramp should definitely be taking, touching the table, right? Question, if we're focusing on the car, are there things on the schema on the left that we don't really need? If we're focusing on the car, are there things on the schema on the left that we don't really need to include because they don't really focus on the car? Yeah, Tara. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Oh, can... I don't know what happened. Okay, so um, yes, to make it simpler, I think you could get rid of the basket and the ramp to make it just simpler. Um, yeah. Because it's not, that's not really what section two is about or like phase two. Um, so potentially you could just get rid of the basket and the ramp. Violent agreement with you. Um, so then let me stop sharing and let me stop sharing this. Hold on a second, I wanna make a new notes and I'm gonna share my iPad maybe. Um, iPad, share, mirroring, link, plugin, install. There we are. Okay, so if we think about phase one, so let's see. Um, here, it, let's make it, I don't know. Oh, come on. Okay, why is my... Okay, that is super disappointing. Okay, so let's not do that. Sorry about that. 
technology gone awry. Um, okay, so maybe we can do this then. Okay, who wants to draw a, who wants to draw? So let's have um, this one, let's have, so this is gonna be the ramp. This is gonna be the table, right? Um, who wants to draw, somebody give me an object for, so this is phase one, this is phase two, right? So somebody give me an object um, to put in this schema right here on for phase one. Actually, somebody draw an object in phase one. Remember name and inside a bubble. Wait, okay, Nicholas, so do you want it? Oh, never mind. Do you want it like right underneath or? Yeah, underneath is great. So Molly gave us car. That's excellent. Lucien, give me an object. I was going to put a bookshelf like right beneath uh, or ramp. Yeah. Okay. Ramp. Yep. I thought, we, I thought you needed yeah. to, I thought you needed us to put like an object underneath the ramp to support it or whatever. No, well, I mean, um, I don't really care how the ramp is supported. All I care is that the, um, see like, all I care is that if we're gonna focus on the car, what are the objects that we must have for our, what are the objects that we must have for phase one? So we must have the car because we're focused on the car. We must have the ramp because the ramp is supporting the car. What else do we need? Okay, so we need the earth field, Tara, thank you. That's great. Do we need the table for phase one? So I'm, I'm seeing Tara say yes, I'm, turning, I'm seeing Vincent says no. So can you guys talk to another? Well, I think the table is not interacting with the car, so it's kind of just extra. Tara, what do you think? For phase one, I think um, for the I think the table needs to be there because the ramp um, is on the table. I totally agree with you, Tara. The, the ramp, car isn't it, interacting with the right. So the car is not interacting with the table. So the question is, if um, we are focusing on the car, sorry, um, the Car, we lost you again. I'm sorry. I like but, totally just cut out and I couldn't hear any <laughs> sad. The, the good news, Tara, is you're making Natalia laugh, which, you know. I don't know what's so, happening. So <laughs> um, I'm going to make an executive decision. I, I agree. We don't need the table, right? Uh, we need the car. We need the ramp. Um, we need the earth field and I think we need the air because we said that, right? And if you think about it, the car is interacting with the air, that's drag. The car is interacting with the ramp. That's actually a normal force and friction. Um, the ramp is interacting with the earth field. The car is on earth. So it's also interacting with the earth field. The air is interacting with the earth field. The air is interacting with the ramp. So that's what the, that's really is what, um, that is what the, the schema looks like for phase one. So what does the schema look like for phase, for phase two? Can somebody do the schema? Like somebody put an object. Cool, so do some put the earth field. That's perfect. Vivian, give me an object for phase two. Yeah, the car, love it. Marika puts a table. Perfect. Love it. Lucian's putting track. What do we think about that for phase two? Tara's violently saying no. Vivian's saying violently no. Vincent's saying no. Yeah, Natalia. Doesn't it depend because some people could use a ramp for on the table? 
Right. Except that when we said the when we when we said the example, we talked about the fact that at first the car was going down on a ramp and then it was going on the table and then it was flying up in the atmosphere, right? So let, let's assume that, you know, you can call it a table, you can call it a track, right? Whatever it is, but it's not like, you can't have both the table and the track, like you have one or the other kind of thing. Whatever the car is interacting with is what you should have in the, right? And then again, you should have interactions like this. Well, I mean, like the car is going on the track, so it's interacting with the track, right? Not once, not in phase two, right? Oh, in phase right, two, right, right. In phase two, right, the car is. So, what do you notice about the schemas for both for both things? They're the same. They're the same, except for like the ramp versus the table, right? Um, the schemas are the same. Are the motion the same, Harry? What do you think? I don't, well, I don't look at think the, so. Yeah, oh, they're, oh they're for the, no. Phase one and phase two. No, they're not. Why, why not? Well, I guess. Somebody draw me a motion map. Had... Yeah, somebody draw me a motion map for one and somebody draw me a motion map for two. Somebody I haven't heard from yet. So Dak, why don't you take motion map for one and Kea. Why don't you draw the motion map for two? What do you think is going on for one and for two on the whiteboard? If you were to look at a movie of the car going down the ramp or going on the table, what and you put dots on the car, what would it look like? Right, so, so Taya's drawing. So Taya, I don't understand this part. Like I don't get, I don't get this part. What's that about? Hey, Dak, can you use the purple line that I gave you already? So, Dak, if you're, if this was the first dot for the car, where are the dots after that? No, how do I change colors? Uh, there's something called format on your, um, on your, and then, so, car is going to go this way, car is going to go down the ramp, right? So, Taya, this is your first dot, right, on phase two. And uh, Dak, this is your first dot on phase one. I want to I wanna motion map. Let's go. Yeah, Taya, I agree with you. Let's put more than just one, let's put more than just two dots, right? Yeah, that's it. So perfect. Do, does everybody agree with the motion map for two? Marla, what do you think? Yeah? Okay, so what's about the motion map for one? Do people agree with the motion map for one? Timothy, what do you think? Oh, actually, Molly, you had your hand up. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was just, maybe this is like, I don't know, maybe we already explained this, but I was a little bit confused. If you don't have the original plan in which you're doing it from, how would you get a motion map from the car, ramp, air, EF, on um, that thing? I'm sorry, what's the question? How would you get a motion map from the um, the thing where you connect all the circles with the arrows? You can't, right? That's a oh, okay. that's a totally different. So the motion map is to look at the motion and the schema that we have before here, right? The word is schema. 
is to figure out what the interactions are. So two completely different purposes for this for the drawings. Um, okay, so do we like this? Do we like the motion map for one? Timothy. Well, I think that maybe the dots at the bottom should be like more spaced out since it's speeding up. Okay, correct it. Okay, so um, does everybody agree now on what's going on? Right, so the car going down the ramp is speeding up. The car going across the table is moving at constant velocity. And we're like, okay, we knew that. Like we could have done that in the last unit, right? Um, we could have done that in the last unit. So I agree with this, check. And I agree with this, check. So now the thing that we learned in this unit is we've now learned uh, to look at interactions and we say, we know that um, somehow we figured out that um, in order to create more change, we need more interactions, right? So these are the interactions, check. These are the interactions, check. And yet, if you look at the schemas, they look exactly identical. So exactly identical schemas created two very different motions. One is a speeding up motion and one is a constant velocity motion. So yeah, Tara. Um, I'm, wait, I was confused about why there wasn't a table on the first um, schema. Because there, there is a table. I mean, as the ramp is not floating in the air, it's on the table, yeah. right? Um, but because we're focusing on the car, Oh, so the, the, okay. the car is not interacting with the table yeah. yet, right? So that's why we didn't put the table. I mean, because if you put the table, then do you put the ground underneath the table? And then you put like the basement of the house, <laughs> underneath the, right? I mean, like, where do you, how far do you go, right? Um, so if you look at the car, the car is interacting with the ramp, the air, and the earth field. And the other one, the car is interacting with the air, the table, and the earth field. And both schemas look the same. So the thing that we just figured out is that even though the schema is important and telling us stuff, um, the schema is incomplete. Like it, it doesn't tell the whole story because the same schema can have two very different motions. So what we're gonna do now is, so I'm gonna save this, right? And I'm going to send it to you all. Compose, please, to the CP 1A. And I'm going to take this whiteboard. I'm going to send over here. Cool. So I just sent you the this whiteboard, right? So what we're going to do is going to stop sharing it. Um, and then we are going to move forward and see where we go from here. Like we have just figured out that schemas are important, but they're not the whole story. So first we're gonna take a break. So why don't you, it's 940. You want you guys come back here at 950, right? Take a 10 minute break, get off your camera and then come back at 950. Natalia. Did you stop recording during the break? Oh, <laughs> no. I want absolutely to see you during the break. Yeah.